We previously proved this theorem, telling us how to find the orthogonal projection of a vector onto a subspace. Link in the description of the video proving that. Today we're going to use that theorem to decompose a vector from R4 into orthogonal components. So we're given a subspace W that's spanned by these two vectors, V1 and V2. Note in the theorem we need to have an orthogonal basis. Obviously these two vectors are a basis for the subspace because they are linearly independent, they're not scalar multiples of each other, and we know that they're orthogonal because their dot product is zero. One times one plus one times one is two, and one times negative one plus one times negative one is negative two. So the dot product is zero, they are orthogonal. So we've got an orthogonal basis, we're going to use that to find the orthogonal projection of this vector b onto that subspace w. Once we find that orthogonal projection, we can subtract it from b in order to find the component of b that's orthogonal to w. Thus, we will have decomposed it into orthogonal components. The vector w1, which will be the orthogonal projection of b onto w, that's an element of w. And then the vector w2, that's an element of the orthogonal complement of W. That's like what's left of B that's outside of the subspace W. Anyways, let's run the computations. First, we'll apply the theorem in order to find the vector W1, which is the projection of B onto the subspace W. This is the formula written out in this case. We need the inner product of our vector B with the first basis vector divided by the squared norm of that basis vector times that basis vector. Then the same thing, but with the second basis vector, v2. Now the inner product here is just the dot product, so that's straightforward to compute. Doing the dot product of b with v1, we have 1 times 1, which is 1, plus 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 0 times 1, which is 0, plus negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2. This needs to get divided by the squared norm of v1. The norm of v1 is the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared. So the square root of 4, so 2. That's the norm, but we have to square that, and 2 squared is 4. This whole thing gets multiplied by v1. We do the same thing with v2, so dot b with v2, that's going to be 1 times 1, plus 2 times 1, plus 0 times negative 1, plus negative 2 times negative 1. That's what we see there. The norm of v2 is root 4, so 2, which we then square to again get a denominator of 4, and this needs to get multiplied by v2. Now, 1 plus 2 plus 0 minus 2 is 1, so we have 1 fourth times v1, and you can see that that's just going to look like this, 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fourth. And then 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 is 5, so we have 5 fourths times v2. Distributing 5 fourths across v2 gives us this vector here. And then adding them together gives us this. A fourth plus 5 fourths is 6 fourths, which we reduce to 3 halves, and so on. 1 fourth minus 5 fourths is negative 4 fourths, which is negative 1. So this is w1. That's the projection of b onto the subspace w. So this vector exists in that subspace. Then all that's left is to compute w2. That's the component of b that's orthogonal to w. So this exists outside of that subspace. And to find it, all we have to do is take b and subtract the projection on w that we just found. So here's b, and we are subtracting that projection that we just found. So 1, which is 2 halves, minus 3 halves, that's negative half. 2, which is 4 halves, minus 3 halves, is 1 half. 0, minus negative 1, is positive 1. And negative 2 minus negative 1 is negative 2 plus 1, so negative 1. And that is the component of b that is orthogonal to w. This exists in the orthogonal complement w perp. So this vector w2 could also be denoted like this, the projection of b onto the orthogonal complement of w. Finally, we have our solution. b is equal to this vector that's in w 
plus this vector that's in the orthogonal complement of w. And that's how to decompose a vector in R4 into orthogonal complements. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlist in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.